Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, let us continue our discussion on Selenium Python framework and we will now optimize our test code even further and add a couple of more test cases and now we will see how easy it becomes to add further test cases when we have simplified or modularized our overall code and took the framework approach right so here if you see in the previous tutorial i have discussed that we have created the object creation linkage between the pages right so that is possible and we have already done it so if there are multiple pages in your application you do not need to create objects for those pages to call the methods in those pages in the test right but there are still some of the pages which are required for class level setup which are mandatory and you need to make sure that you create or during the setup process or during the class setup process you create an object for those say for example this launch page or the or creating an object for this utils right so how can we have a common sort of a approach so that we handle these separately rather than in our test cases right so what we can do is we can simply create a new method we can simply say def and I can give it a name as class setup and in this particular method what I can do is I can create objects for all the classes that are required in this particular test case so I know in this particular test case I need to create an object for the launch page and I need to create an object for the utils right so we can simply move these two here and remove these two object creation from the test cases right and now what we simply have to do is we simply have to append self and then we'll need to say self dot dot ut and this will create an object in the class setup itself and here in the test method that we have we simply need to use self dot lp everywhere where we want to refer to these objects right so we'll simply replace these with self right let me remove all these comments so that we have the code looks more um, compact and readable so that you can see on the screen right so now you can see that i have created this class level setup now in order to use this class level setup or method always in our test cases or test methods what we can use is we can use pytest fixture right so we can simply mark this or simply decorate it with say pytest.fixture and then enable auto use right so you you remember auto use we have learned about the auto use in the pytest tutorial if you haven't watched the pytest tutorial please go through and watch it because all these concepts that i'm explaining here i've already explained in previous series right so previous videos so go ahead and watch it because then you will be able to connect all the dots and understand now when we say auto use it will be automatically this particular method will be automatically called prior to your test method right so now the objects whichever objects need to be created for the classes we can simply move in this class setup and decorate this particular method with pytest.fixture auto use is equal to true right and in the code now we do not need to create any of the objects okay yeah so that's all good now say for example this is what we are verifying with the one stop okay so now say for example tomorrow i have to write a test case for verification of the two stop and non-stop i will simply copy this particular method and we'll say test search flights so i'll replace this or rename this with test search flights one stop right and the second method will be test search flight to stop right so for example i just want to add new test case which verifies the filter to stop and here i will simply change it to stop and i'll be verifying that the results in the flights contain two stops okay so two stops so that's what basically it displays if you go to the yatra website you will see that for two stops it displays two stops right so you'll see that it displays two stops right so this is the text that we want to verify in case of two stop so this is now so easy in order to replicate the number of test cases that we want to add in terms of stops if we want to add one more test case for non-stop we can simply copy and paste and if we want to update the location which is basically depart and destination and the dates we can also update that here and these dates these details 
details at the moment are hard coded but when we go to the data driven testing we'll also externalize these so these will be read from the configuration file uh, basically your csv file or the excel files that will be used for the data driven all right so now we have two test cases and we have externalized the object creation in the class setup so now let's go ahead let's remove all the unused imports so the grayed out ones which are not used we'll remove get rid of it to make our class more presentable and let's go ahead and run it right so i'll clear and i will simply say pytest and let's see that it runs two test cases this time and everything works as expected as it used to work before so it's launching the browser searching for the flights selecting the date clicked on search flights and there's the first test case which is basically filtering by one stop so it will scroll down and filter by one stop so it should select one stop it has selected one stop right and it has verified right so the second test case is now launching you can see that it has the first one has failed now second one is launching and first one failed because of the verification errors which we'll anyways cover later when we handle the soft assertions so you can see it has selected 26th august this time because we changed the date and this time it should filter based on the two stops so it has came to the bottom it should select two stops at the moment it has selected two stops and should start verifying the two stops right so it has failed at the assertion level in both of the test cases which is expected right we'll fix that in upcoming tutorial but this assertion error we need to understand how we can proceed further even though there is assertion error or the verification error how we can proceed further with further verification and then fail later say for example at the moment it is failing at a particular value wherever it is not able to find right so it just exits out of the test case but overall with these changes that we have done with the class setup we have externalized these object creation for the common classes that are required to run these test cases and these two test cases have been executed and it was very easy to replicate the test case to two stop and even for the non-stop we can do the same thing right now because we have all these methods and the operations that we do on those web elements have been created as part of the page objects we can can easily write the test case or anyone can write the test case easily in the testing team all right so that's all about this particular tutorial on how you can have a common class setup method to create the common class objects that you can use in your test files or the test cases in selenium with python so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching